Shot save, rebound, the score! On the doorstep, jamming it home. The Skippers take the lead, and I believe... Hi, I'm Craig Perry, Associate Director for the Minnesota State High School League. Today I'm at the XL Energy Center, the host site for the Boys and Girls State High School Hockey Championships. Each fall, over 120 girls teams and 150 boys teams begin their hockey seasons with one goal in mind. We want to get to the X. It is here at the X, in late February and early March, where thousands of hockey fans from across the United States make their annual pilgrimage to the state hockey tournaments. On any given night, you will see exceptional play and a building that holds over 18,000 filled to capacity. Those goals that those kids set at the start of the year, to get to here, to get to the X, take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and most importantly, a commitment to team. During the regular season, as they advance throughout that season to try to get to here, to be that team that is the champion, they know they have to play the game the right way. They've got to play within the rules, they have to focus on skill, and they focus on commitment to playing the game straight up, clean, the way it was meant to be played. For a number of years, the Minnesota Coaches Associations and the High School League, working with the Officials Association, have been stressing a return to skill. Remove the obstruction, remove the contact that is dangerous in this game. Most importantly, we've decided to focus on three general areas of the rule book: contact to the head, hitting from behind, and boarding. It is those three penalties and the situations on the ice which can lead to dangerous and sometimes tragic injuries. With the help of the Andover High School varsity coaches and members of the boys and girls varsity high school teams, the Minnesota State High School League, working in conjunction with the Coaches Association and the Officials Associations, have put together an instructional video for you to view. This educational video will help teach you a number of items. First, we will teach you correct technique in checking, and then we will teach you the incorrect behavior that will result in penalties. As you watch this video, you will notice that coaches will step in, teach the proper technique, officials on the ice during these demonstrations will explain penalties as they see them, and then the coaches will step in and again show the corrective behavior to eliminate dangerous contact. Again, we are focusing in three main areas, contact to the head, checking from behind, and boarding. If you're a high school hockey player, or actually a hockey player at any level, I know that you will find the benefits from these videos will change your game. And we ask that the hockey players view these and then make the corrective changes to their hockey technique. Coaches, we encourage you to show this video with your entire team and walk through the scenarios and answer any questions that your players may have for you. The officials who will view this will also look at how coaches will approach this in their teaching skills and will assist our players and our coaches throughout the season in helping them understand what is correct behavior and incorrect behavior. This shot is going to show the proper technique for angling. Watch as the defender stick goes underneath the, the player with the puck stick and prevents the turn back. At the same time, he's going to get his hips in front of the player's hips and his shoulder in front of the shoulder and ride him into the boards. Now we're talking about the proper technique for angling behind the net. We want the player to work from inside out in this scenario. And again, just like angling on the boards, we want to get stick on puck. Once a stick is on the, the puck or on the opponent's stick, we just want to get our head in front of the body of the uh, puck carrier, get our shoulder in front of the puck carrier's shoulder, get our hip in front of the hip of the puck carrier, and then ride him off the plate. That's an example of five minute major for boarding. Okay, now how we'd rather have you do that is to go in there under a controlled fashion, and instead of driving the player into the boards, uh, just uh, get stick on puck, separate him from the puck, and then in a controlled fashion, push him away from it. Then take the puck. Let's try it like that. Okay, right there we have a five minute major penalty for checking from behind a player hit the other player directly head first into the boards. Now what we want you to do instead of that is if you see you're going to check a player from behind or you see their numbers on the back of their jersey, go ahead and wrap your arms around the player and prevent them from going into the boards head first. Now let's try it like that. Okay, right there is a legal play as long as he lets the player go immediately after the contact. 
Okay, right there we have a five minute major and a 10 minute misconduct for checking from behind. Previously, this used to be a two minute minor and a 10 minute misconduct and is now a five minute major and a 10 minute misconduct. Okay, now rather than checking them from behind, what we'd rather see you do is to go ahead and approach him from the net side, maintain net side defense, control the player's stick, and then leverage him away from the net with your body. Now let's go ahead and give that a try. Remember, we have a legal, legal play there. That's a perfect example of a five minute major, checking from behind. Okay, guys, now how we'd rather have you do that is, uh, the first player, just make good body contact, um, pinning the player against the boards, and then the second player come in and pick up the puck. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, that's an example of a five minute major for checking from behind into the boards. The reason I would call that is because the player that was making the contact did not ease up when he saw the player's numbers from behind. Okay guys, how we'd rather have you do that is when you see the player's numbers, go ahead and stick your arms up and then just wrap him up and, and go easy into the boards rather than an aggressive push. So let's try it that way now. Okay, right there we have a five minute major for checking from behind. The player was checked from behind directly into the goal cage. Okay, right there we have a five minute major for contact to the head or neck area with the arm coming up. Okay, right there we have a five minute major for contact to the head or neck area. The player came up with his arm and hit him in the head and neck area. That's a five minute major penalty. Okay, now how we'd rather have you do that is we'd want you to come at the player with your stick, both hands on your stick and your stick down, clear your head to the side and then put your shoulder right into the player's chest. So come on in like this, clear, and then hit, keeping your head back too. Let's try that once. Okay, there we have an example of a two minute minor for an elbow for inadvertent contact to the head. All right, we are going now to talk about uh, body contact in girls hockey and the difference between body contact and checking. And the main difference is uh, in checking, you're gonna throw your shoulder into them and try and separate the person from the puck. Here in girls hockey, we allow body contact of trying to get position on that player, and if there happens to be body contact in the meantime, that's legal and that's okay to happen. The big difference is again, putting the shoulder into that person to separate them from the puck versus just going in there for the puck and maybe a little body contact at the same time happening. Now we're gonna talk about angling and body contact behind the net, and the big thing there is we wanna make sure we get again inside position on that person with the puck, and all we're trying to do is separate them from the puck by using our stick and not putting a shoulder in them or not using an elbow and not checking them into the boards. We want to make sure the big thing is is getting inside position, getting ahead of that player so we're getting in a front of them, removing them from the puck by lifting their stick up and there are, again maybe a little body contact but we want to avoid checking. You can come in, you can lift the stick up, you're going for the puck. If, you, if, you, if there's minor bumping on the, on the arm or the stick when you're coming through, that's all fine. What you want to avoid is any of the arms extending towards the body or any shoulder or arm movement that's only directed at the body. You've just watched the on-ice demonstrations of correct and incorrect behavior in those three areas. Now let's watch how a coach and the officials are helping to make these changes. In this next video, you will see the head coach in a pregame meeting with his players talking about these three areas. Then you'll see the officials visiting with the team and the coaches and letting them know how they want the game to be played and how they plan to call the game. The line's supposed to be in the sand. Check from behind, boarding hits the head. That's an automatic five, all right? It's an automatic five. And you know what that means, right? That's five minutes, we're short, and they can score as much as they want, all right? Guys, you know the new rules kicked in yesterday? You got five new majors, contact to the head, check from behind, boarding. Right? and boarding, right? You guys know what's going on, right? The bonus is on you. You see that hit, stay away from it, all right? 
As you viewed these educational videos, I'm sure you noticed a couple of things. First, we taught correct behavior, which is important if we're going to change this culture. Two, we showed you the incorrect behavior. And with the help of coaches and officials, we showed you how to change your behavior on the ice. We want you to play the game the right way. And after those educational modules were done, you had a chance to see these new rules actually being put into effect. You saw the head coach at Benilde talking to his players about the way to play the game. You saw officials step in and have a pregame conference with the team to let them know how they're stressing these plays be called and to also help them understand how to avoid them. It is our hope, and we know it will succeed, that you will change the way you play the game, that you will bring it back to skill, and that you will help us reduce and then ultimately remove checking from behind, contact to the head, and boarding. Safety is our number one concern, and I know, now that you've watched the video, safety is now your number one priority. So on behalf of the Minnesota State High School League, the coaches associations, the officials, and of course the hockey communities across this great state of hockey, you will take that number one priority, safety, to the rinks. Rink wide for Kurt Rau. Big drive. Janetta lost it. Clear. They score. They score. Eaton Prairie wins.